has arrived. Temperatures are rising, and it's time to get the beach chair out of winter storage. Traditional wicker sun chairs are part and parcel of the Baltic Sea experience. Thousands line the shore when it's vacation time on the Baltic island of Usedom. Jan Müller is well versed in the business. For more than a century, Germans have sunned themselves on this beachside sofa, all the while staying out of the chilly northern breezes. Back in 1882, an elderly lady and rheumatism sufferer, Elfrieda von Matzahn, asked the court's basket weaver to build her a seat, which would protect her from the wind and allow her to enjoy the sun and sea. The oldest beach chair factory in the world is located in Heringsdorf. They've been hand-making wood and wicker sun chairs since 1925. It's the start of the season and the factory is working at full capacity. The staff here produce 35 beach chairs every day. They sell for at least 500 euros. A sun chair like this is a luxury rather than a necessity. There's a limited market and there's also competition from abroad with foreign producers undercutting prices. A beach chair like that is good for about three, four or five years. Our beach chairs are made to last 20, 30 or even more years. It's an investment for life. At the end of 2008, the company declared insolvency. The factory produced more beach chairs than it sold. But the company has managed to stay afloat by introducing a made-to-order business. We tailor make beach chairs to suit a customer's needs, if it's technically possible. It could be certain colors or special shapes or different colors in the weave or other specifications, like heated seats, reading lamps, and have a fridge or massage unit. The new models are aimed at attracting new customers. This chair can be taken apart for simpler transportation and winter storage. It takes just a few minutes to assemble, and then it's ready for use. The company has a patent on this portable beach chair called MOBS. It's a fundamental idea that's key to the survival of the business. Because it's a market that we haven't catered to up to now, there is a great deal of potential. In the former communist East Germany, 200 people worked at this factory. Now there's a staff of 37. But they kept working during the insolvency process. Jobs are scarce in this part of the country. The workers in Heringsdorf are confident in the firm's future. The factory delivers more than 5,000 beach chairs each year. And in future, they hope to expand sales to reach beyond the Baltic and North Sea coast. There's a very big market that hasn't been actively courted. That's abroad. I can imagine beach chairs like ours all over the world. The only thing that's difficult for me to imagine would be sending one to the moon. It seems the wicker beach chair is fit for anywhere under the sun.